Hi, my name is Erin Davis, and I am working on improving RTI response to intervention methods at Coleraine High School. The first goal of my project is to continuously implement and adjust proper interventions for students failing one or more class at Coleraine. The second goal of my project was to find a universal system that our advisors could use during the advisory time. We already had something in place for each teacher to use for their specific classrooms, but we didn't have anything in place for the advisory time. When looking at some of the res results of my project, the first thing to note was that there were many people that participated and turned their form in on time. Because this was a mandatory form, I had great administrative support that required all teachers to turn the form in by the stated due date. There were some teachers that struggled a bit, but I found through um, informal conversation, friendly email reminder, um, and just sitting down and troubleshooting with some of them, we figured out where the glitches were that were holding them up from turning the form in on time. Another thing to note is that I was invited to the RTI district-wide meeting. There, I was able to share my project with representatives from the entire district, and they also took this back to their schools to see how they could possibly implement it in their district, or I'm sorry, in their schools as well. Another important result to note is that this provides us a universal system. Uh, and the, the most important result to note is that our failure rate has decreased since we have implemented this form. There's obviously many factors that could have played into this, but that is something that has occurred since the start of this form. Because this is a school-wide goal, we felt a strong urge to, to really work on this and focus on this. My team consisted of five people. Mrs. Maureen Heinz, the school principal, Lori Burns, the school psychologist, um, Sarah Bellstrom, the in-school suspension advisor, Erica Dua, the OGT pro uh, advisor, and myself. What we did is we first uh, brainstormed and came up with a form. We gave uh, possible interventions in the front and an example on the bottom. And then on the back was the place for the teachers to complete the form. After that, we looked at all the failure rates and the, di and the different um, diverse data that we had to come up with information to go forth with. After that, then, we made revisions to our first form and then passed it out to our teachers again. From there, they were able to get an easier form that we felt was to fill out so it provided possible goals, possible interventions, and on the back, they filled out the um, information for each student and just simply circled to the corresponding name, or, um, number. Excuse me. So this is a really teacher-friendly, easy-to-use form. Some things I found helpful throughout this project was that I made copies readily available to teachers. I also put on the teacher share drive so that teachers who preferred to fill out electronically could do that and continuously update on their computer. The main thing I thought was helpful was to keep communication open. Even though this form was mandatory, I tried so hard to help teachers feel that they had a voice in this project and that it was easy for them to fill out and complete in return to help me complete my project.